We have to, we're gonna read off here because like we ca I can't we can't think off the top of our minds. So yeah, we have some bad news to tell you. It happened a week ago, and we are just telling you now because we didn't know how to say it because it's just so hard to believe. I guess the best way to say it is that CJ is no longer with us. He passed away February 9th, 2019. It's been a very hard week. We miss him so much. If you don't know who CJ is, well, he is our cat, an amazing cat. He, he was only seven and his golden birthday was coming up March 8th. And this is the amazing cat CJ. Yes. Sorry the light is a little orange. It's fine, they don't mind. The way it happened was he had heart failure. CJ threw up, which was normal for him, but little did we know that is a symptom of heart failure, so that cats throw up a lot. When he threw up, his back legs got paralyzed and he had a blood clot that paralyzed his back legs because the blood clot blocked the blood from flowing into his back legs. The pads on his front paws were pink, which are healthy, and the paws on, uh, pads on his back paws were white, which is unhealthy, so there was no blood flowing back into his back legs. We were told to rush him to the vet, so we did. The vet checked him out and told us that we what we had, Lee had just explained about heart failure and the blood clot, and he gave us options, and the vet did say CJ was in pain. CJ was panting because he was having a hard time breathing. The vet said if he were to stay alive in pain, he would only last about six more months and would have to be on pain meds constantly. We had to choose what we wanted to do, and we didn't want CJ to suffer anymore than he already was, so we had to say goodbye. The vet told us to talk about it, so we did, and everyone was covered in tears petting CJ and knew it was best. And then the couldn't We couldn't believe it had to happen, we just couldn't. He was only a seven-year-old cat who was constantly happy. The vet did say cats like to hide stuff like this, so they don't worry their owners. The vet put IVs in CJ and then we had to say our goodbye for about five minutes. We then let the vet in and everyone, with everyone petting and touching CJ, CJ passed away. The vet said what we did was very kind because he was in pain and he would have been suffering if we didn't do it, but why we did this, why did this have to happen, it's not fair. Probably the saddest day ever. I still can't believe that CJ is gone and we miss him to death. Zoe seems so lost without him. She doesn't know what to do. Guys, please learn from this and appreciate what you have. You spend more time with your family, friends, and pets because someday they won't be here. Just please know. Please listen to that, and I know we both we will. 
and like hopefully you guys like got something from this because that would really yeah because yeah. it can happen any day yeah. even if you're least expecting it like how we were not even expecting mm -mm. it at all mm -hmm. cj was cool. like completely fine that day he's acting totally normal he was running around with zoe and everything but then he threw up and, like, so basically a good day you can go Man, in like just a second, it could go all down. And this happened a week ago from today, which is today is Saturday. So. Yeah, hopefully you just learned something from it and understand what we're going through. And maybe you, maybe you know now why we aren't posting as much too. Mhm. Mm it's part of the reason. Mhm. Mm so. So. Yeah. yeah. See you guys next time. Bye. Also check out Zoe's channel. If you, want, if you want to know how she's doing, bye.